I'm Carl Anthony, Managing Editor of AutoVision News, and welcome to AutoSense Insights. We are pleased today to be speaking with Amin Abbasi, who is the Business Development Manager at IMEC. And Amin, welcome to the program today. Hello, uh, thank you for having uh, this interview. Pleased to meet you. So, Amin, I, the first question that I have is, tell us a little bit about IMEC. Give us an overview of, of what you do. Okay, IMAC is the, I could say, uh, one of the biggest R&D center uh, for uh, nano uh, digital application, nano uh, fabrication. Uh, what we are uh, doing, uh, we have a pilot line, 200 millimeter and 300 millimeter pilot line uh, that uh, can cover the CMOS application, but also in the meantime, we are using this pilot line for the photonic application. I mean, one of the biggest topics right now in the industry is the trends in solid state LIDAR. From your perspective, from your vantage point, what trends, what are the biggest trends you're seeing right now with solid state LIDAR? The biggest trend, I would say, reducing the cost and uh, increasing the performance. Solid state LIDAR, they have already provided uh, very enhanced performance and also compact than uh, mechanical uh, uh, steering mechanism. But uh, what we see uh, more often happening that uh, uh, these components, they were already, uh, they are discrete component like uh, this laser integrate with the photodiode, integrate with the combiner. Uh, what we see that if you integrate them in a single chip or in the hybrid chip, you can reduce the cost you can reduce the packaging cost and also the performance will increase. This is the same concept or trend that happened in the electronic domain. As you can look at back a couple of decades ago, we had an individual transistor, individual resistor, put them together, millions of them in the integrated IC. And we strongly believe it will be the same for the lighter systems. So, I mean, what would you say is the most important milestone then for you and for IMEC in the last year? Okay, uh, for specifically uh, on the LiDAR uh, uh, project, we have uh, demonstrated this uh, 2D uh, steerable uh, LiDAR that it can be used for the FMCW LiDAR. This is based uh, on the photonic integrated circuit. It is compact, it is non-mechanical, and uh, it is a uh, uh, called technology called phase array antenna. Uh, we also, in the same photonic integrated circuit, we have developed this uh, uh, steerable structure light that is a, a different type of this uh, LiDAR, but it is very similar to what we have seen in uh, Apple uh, new phone, iPhone 12, this uh, integrated uh, LiDAR uh, that can shine the structural light. And uh, based on that, you can just uh, look at the depths uh, on the vision, on the image. So we have also developed this uh, uh, structural light. We have also um, uh, introduced or we have developed this uh, concept of um, unzip readout that you can use uh, uh, unzip photodiode uh, next to the uh, LiDAR chip to just do the recalibration before sending the light out. So this is a very uh, big milestone to ease the uh, calibration in the field. So, I mean, all of these innovations that you're talking about, who, who, who do you offer these to? Who, 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 who are the people who benefit most from your technology and, and from your innovations? You know, the application companies uh, that they are uh, providing next generation LiDAR, they are mainly our customers. Uh, they need a laser, they need photodiode, they need optical phase array, switches, combiner. So in our uh, tonic integrated circuit, we are offering all these uh, uh, components in a very compact way and also non-mechanical way. So uh, companies, uh, application companies, in th uh, they are in their different uh, uh, development phase. For example, they have an idea, they have a nice concept, 
or they are already they have done prototyping and they want to go to the volume manufacturing. So in any of these steps, uh, these companies can approach us and we could uh, help them on the design and also volume manufacturing to just uh, support them for the next generation LiDAR system. A follow-up question, I mean, that I have, when you talk about the importance of cost reduction and the importance of packaging and the importance of increasing performance, why is that important? Why is that a good thing for customers to be able to have lower cost and increase performance? Why are those things important? So you know that uh, uh, there are different uh, application markets. There are uh, niche market like space, uh, radar, uh, or uh, uh, I could say uh, robotic, but there are also application that they need a volume like automotive market or the consumer market. Here, you need to really, really reduce the cost and increase the reliability for application like uh, uh, that uh, they are niche, maybe mechanical solution will uh, be okay. It is bulky, it is costly, but it is performance is good and people can use it. But when you go to the consumer market, you go to automotive, the, uh, especially for the automotive reliability is a, a big problem. And if you are using mechanical solution that uh, it is susceptible to the uh, vibration, to the shock that always happening in the automotive, so you need to just come with a solution that uh, it is compact, it is low cost, and also uh, they don't have a issue with uh, reliability. We believe that these solid state LiDAR are the solution. I mean, we've covered a lot about what you do and, and what you offer. Now let's talk about the why. Why should companies work with IMEC on all of the topics that we've discussed today? Okay, IMEC has a unique position uh, compared with the other competitors. We have a flexibility of the academic center, uh, academic facilities, so we could we can tune our process and our design based on the customer need. In the meantime, we have this pilot line, 200 millimeter, 300 millimeter pilot line that you can find in the commercial foundries. But commercial foundries, they don't have that flexibility. In the, so what we are doing, we are bridging this gap between the academic uh, facilities centers and this uh, industrial foundry. So we are kind of unique in the world that uh, uh, we could uh, just engage with the customer in different phase of development, initial idea, help them to design and reach the pro prototype, or they have a prototype, we could help them to just go to the volume manufacturing. Now, I mean, how do our viewers get in touch with you? Is there a website that they should go to? How do you recommend that they find more, more information? Yes, we have a website uh, uh, that uh, if you go to IMAC uh, uh, website there, we have an optical beamforming uh, page, and also we have a silicon nitride page. Uh, you know, silicon nitride is our platform uh, silicon photo uh, or silicon silicon nitro platform. It is the platform that we are building this LiDAR system in it. So we have two pages, uh, silicon photonic, silicon nitro photonic platform, and also optical beamforming. But also they can just directly uh, contact me, I mean that Apasi at sign IMAC that be. Uh, so if there is a further question, we could discuss it for the collaboration. Uh, I mean, I want to thank you for your time today, but before we close the interview, do you have anything you'd like to summarize again? Do you have any last minute thoughts that you would like to add? No, thank you very much uh, having this uh, uh, interview and looking forward to, uh, uh, for the upcoming conference, AutoSense conference. Well, I mean, from all of us here at AutoSense, we want to wish you the best of luck going forward. Thank you for your time today. And for more great AutoSense, you can check out our YouTube channel or our hub. Just search AutoSense.